Welcome to section 43 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Mycobacterium avium intracellulare, or MAC, Mycobacterium scrofulaceum, and Mycobacterium marinum. This scene takes place at a zoo park, with this guy inside of an aviary getting attacked by birds. Aviary sounds like avium, so this should help you remember that this part of the image is about Mycobacterium avium intracellulare. Next, notice that we've shown this small child off to the side of the aviary that is super scruffy appearing. Look at that beard. Pretty impressive considering the child's age. Anyway, scruffy sounds like scrofulaceum, which should help you remember that this part of the image is all about Mycobacterium scrofulaceum. Now notice that we've added one of the workers at this zoo, who is a marine biologist. He normally takes care of the water animals in this acid pond, but it looks like this piranha has gotten the best of him at the moment. Anyway, marine worker sounds like marinum, and is here to help you remember that this part of the image is all about Mycobacterium marinum. So to be clear, the information inside of the aviary, right here, will be about MAC. The information surrounding the scruffy child, right here, will be about Mycobacterium scrofulaceum. And the information around this marine worker guy, right here, will be about Mycobacterium marinum. Okay, before we discuss each organism, let's cover a few basic ideas that's true of all three. First, this bubbling acid pond is here to help you remember acid fast. So all three organisms are acid fast. Next, notice that we've shown a guy outside of the aviary with a big microphone. He's one of the workers here and is yelling at the birds that are attacking that poor guy. Just like in our other videos, the microphone is here to help you remember that mycolic acid is present in the cell wall of all three organisms. This is an acid fast stain of Mycobacterium avium intracellulare. However, Mycobacterium scrofulaceum and Mycobacterium marinum are also acid fast, so they would appear similar under the microscope. You can see that there are many red appearing organisms, for example, right here. All right, now let's focus on the details of MAC. As you can see, now we've added a band-aid on this poor guy's hand. He was attacked by these crazy birds and started bleeding, so he quickly slapped on a band-aid. The band-aid is here to help you remember that MAC causes disease in AIDS patients. Now take a close look at the structure of the aviary. It has a bunch of circular-shaped segments in between each metal rod, and these resemble the lymphatic system. We've made the aviary look this way to help you remember that MAC causes lymphadenitis. Now you can see that we've added a heat lamp inside of the aviary. The park owner put this here to keep the birds warm. Just like in our other videos, the heat lamp in this image is here to help you remember that MAC causes a fever. To make the zoo park extra entertaining, the staff has added a zip line inside of this aviary. Now you can see a guy drenched in sweat on top of the stand inside of the aviary getting ready to go down the zip line. He had to climb all the way to the top of the stand, and it's pretty hot in there because the heat lamp is on full blast in an attempt to keep the birds warm. So that explains the profuse sweating. In any case, this sweaty guy is here to help you remember that Mac causes night sweats. Also notice that he's super skinny. This is to help you remember that Mac causes weight loss. If you look closely at his shirt, you can see that it has a map of the United States on it. The US has 50 states so it should help you remember the number 50. Also, remember how this guy is about to go down the zip line? Well, zip sounds like azithromycin, so this is here to help you remember the antibiotic azithromycin. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that azithromycin is given prophylactically when the CD4 count is less than 50. This is because MAC infections are most common among HIV patients when the CD4 count drops below 50. Now you can see that we've added a container of medication on the ground. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. I guess the container must have fallen out of this poor guy's back pocket when he was getting attacked by birds. We've used the pill container in other videos for drug resistance. So it's in this image to help you remember that MAC is often resistant to multiple drugs. All right, now let's turn our attention to the scruffy kid. The fact that he's a child should help you remember that Mycobacterium scrofulaceum commonly affects children. Also, he's holding a beaded net, which should make you think of the lymphatic system. And the fact that it's up by his neck region should make you think of the cervical region. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that Mycobacterium scrofulaceum causes cervical lymphadenitis in children. Finally, let's wrap up by discussing the marine worker guy. As you can see, he's working closely with the piranhas, so he's a marine biologist. He's also unfortunately getting his hand ripped off by this vicious piranha. We've shown this in the image to help you remember that Mycobacteria marinum causes hand infections in aquarium handlers. All right, now that we've covered the three organisms, let's review with a question. A 33-year-old male with a history of HIV presents to the physician due to weight loss, fever, and a swollen lump in his neck. His temperature is 38.8 degrees Celsius. Physical examination reveals a swollen and tender cervical lymph node. A tissue aspirate of the swollen lymph node reveals acid-fast bacilli. A CD4 count is obtained and will most likely reveal which of the following. A, 43 cells per microliter. B, 97 cells per microliter. 
C, 439 cells per microliter, D, 991 cells per microliter, or E, 1,503 cells per microliter. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has HIV, weight loss, fever, cervical lymphadenitis, which we can deduce because he has a swollen lump in his neck, and that a tissue aspirate revealed acid fast bacilli. Collectively, these findings are highly suggestive of MAC. So the correct answer is A, 43 cells per microliter. You may have thought about Mycobacterium scrofulaceum and thought that a normal CD4 count was possible, such as choice E. However, the question stem states that our patient has HIV, which makes an AIDS-defining illness, such as MAC, more likely than the rare Mycobacterium scrofulaceum. Also, Mycobacterium scrofulaceum is more common in children, not adults. From the image, recall that the guy standing near the zip line with the map of the United States on his shirt right here is here to help you remember that MAC infections are most common when the CD4 count drops below 50, which is why these patients may be given prophylactic azithromycin. Other CD4 counts are possible. However, because the CD4 counts are most commonly below 50, we can see that choices B through E are less likely. So again, the correct answer is A. 43 cells per microliter. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about MAC, Mycobacterium scrofulaceum, and Mycobacterium marinum.